Heroin Mompreneur Studio. I am Anissa Crespo. And on this very special series of She Swaps called Celebrate Mom, we are just celebrating all of the different moms and all of the amazing things that they do. So today I have the pleasure of talking to Lacey Jackson. She is a mother of three boys and she is the founder of Private Tutoring by Lacey Jackson. So welcome, Lacey. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm so excited to hear a little bit about you and what you do and who you help and all that good stuff. So please tell us, tell us who Lacey is and um, tell us how you became the founder of your company and everything uh, about motherhood that you'd like to share and all the in-betweens. Well, I am originally from Polk County, Florida which is snuggled in between Orlando and Tampa. So small town vibes, of course. But during my time in high school, I was able to attend um, collegiate at Polk State, which I was able to get my AA um, when I graduated high school at 18. So that was a big help, not only financially, but just maturity wise and getting me set up for college and university. Um, during that time as well, I focused on getting my DCF hours um, to go into preschool work and childcare. And after I graduated, I have lived in Miami for five years, attending Florida International University, um, graduating in 2017. Um, Again, a lots of experience in education, um, special education, and so forth. Um, became a mom in 2020 with my first boy. Um, it came right after coming back from Alaska, where I did um, AmeriCorps Vista and worked with Covenant House of Anchorage, Alaska. Um, with homeless youth. So again, lots of experience in education, community service. Fast forwarding back to 2020 with my first son, um, did a lot of preschool work and transitioning into elementary and middle school um, work as well. Um, kind of encouraged me during that process of having my first child and meeting my fiance to have my second child to start my own tutoring business. So that happened for me in October, 2022. Um, actually from one of my mom friends who saw my development from school to a mother. And she was like, listen, um, I, ha I homeschool my seven children. You have the experience. I really want to encourage you to start your own tutoring business. And that finally gave me the push to do so. And it it truly was an amazing first step. Um, my first couple of months, I had over 20 students and across all ages. And it was really, really working well. Um, a big thing about my business is that it is affordable services and i also travel across central florida so i really try to have no barriers for families um to be able to get these services to their children or child and i'm slowly vamping my business i'm hoping to do a summer camp in july so i'll be posting more information on my facebook page but um, that has been a huge jump. So throughout all of the years I've talked about, a lot of it has been just that big transition from being a young college student to being a mom. And it's been a great journey so far. That's incredible. I love that. I love that you're helping other families. I love that you took a leap of faith and you invested in yourself and you said, I'm going to do this. Let me do it. And now you're thriving. Like I love all of that. So 
you have a couple of toddlers and just an itty bitty newborn at home. So tell us yes. for, for all the mompreneurs out there, how are you balancing it all? What are some of the tips that you have for, for other moms out there who are in similar situations? Well, my biggest tip, and I know this can't always be a possibility for moms, but try and create that village. And that village does not always have to be family. It could be friends or it could be outside resources um, such as a child care center, YMCA, Boys and Girls Club, businesses like mine. But it's definitely having somebody or something to lean on. I am very blessed to have my family as well as my fiance. And it has not always been easy, especially um, between me and my fiance, um, just learning how to communicate between one another, especially just having a newborn, all those emotions flying. But it's so important to be on the same page. And he is honestly has helped so much this time. I'm able to rest when I need. He has been open and communicative with his job. So they've been super helpful. So we are able to work out that schedule, which is best for us, as well as lean on family. But if you do have that possibility, definitely take advantage and be honest too. Honestly, tell the people who need to know your feelings as well, because postpartum, I'm very thankful this time has not took effect, but my first and especially my second was extremely difficult. And it was because I was not talking to anybody about it. So definitely use your resources, communicate and be honest. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. That's so important. Um, a lot of us, you know, when we're dealing with postpartum, we don't even know that we are. Yes. And, um, that's, you know, when we're, when something's just not right, it's so important, like at that time to reach out. And a lot of times we don't want to reach out because either we feel ashamed or embarrassed or confused or just plain old depressed and, you, you know, just don't want to reach out for help. And a lot of people, um, see reaching out as a sign of weakness, reaching out for help is a sign of strength, like yes. 100%. And community is so critical. Like it really is. Like you said, it doesn't have to be family. A community could, could look a bunch of different ways. It could be your church community. It could be your neighborhood. It could be, you know, like me, I moved from New Jersey to Florida in 2022 when my twins were little. And I don't have any family here. I mean, thank God, you know, it's me, my husband, our kids and my mother-in-law. So I've got her to help out. And because I, I'm not afraid to, you know, ask for help, I've, I've got friends, I've got people in my community that I can reach out to if I need to. So I think that's a really great point. And, um, you know, something else that you mentioned that's really important is you said, you know, your, your fiance pitches in when he needs to so that you can rest when you need to. And yeah. that is important because self-care is not selfish. It's necessary. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Um, And I definitely think, too, something that I'm big on, of course, is the postpartum is mental health um definitely that self-care time that joint that writing down time and taking that time out for yourself as a mother is extremely important i'm a mom of three boys so i feel it's necessary and important to pull myself away sometimes and really engage in that cinnamon and en energy and you know make sure I'm taking care of myself just so my boys can see that as well too. That mom is taking care of herself and she does take out that time, but it's definitely is necessary to do that work. Um, because if you're not mentally okay, you cannot pour into, you know, if you're empty, you can't pour anymore. You're empty. So nourish yourself, get back to yourself, 
as a mom first, and then the magic will happen with your children and so forth on. Yeah, that's so important. Thank you so much for sharing that. And thank you for taking the time to be with us today. And I'm really excited just to celebrate you as a mom, as a woman, as a business owner. I love it. So I'm going to make sure people have links that they can connect directly with you. But if somebody did want to reach out to you, what would be the best way to connect with you? The best way to connect with me is my Facebook um, private tutoring by Lacey Jackson. There you will see all the updates I currently have, as well as my email information. Um, feel free to direct message or email me, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> all right, perfect. Lacey, again, thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you, and happy Mother's Day as well. <laughs>